Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for ins and outs of solar, solar for green building projects. This will be our next course in the series, Solar Revolution, Dawn of a New Era. My name is Kayla Gerstenberg, and I will be the moderator for today's course brought to you by GBRI. With solar projects now in the limelight due to federal, state, and utility rebates, the industry is seeing fantastic growth rates. We at GBRI are proud to bring you today's course, the next course in our series, The Solar Revolution, Dawn of a New Era. Today's course will address the ins and outs of the solar technology, products, installations, rebates, return on investment, as well as solar application on green building projects, including LEED projects, the Living Building Challenge, and Green Globe projects as well. This course will also help you analyze whether solar is right for your project through payback and other related calculations. We will also conclude with case studies that help bring all of these ideas together and show you what other projects have successfully integrated related to solar design and installation. Now I'd like to introduce today's instructor. Jeff Matthews holds a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from the University of Houston. As a solar engineer and trainer, Jeff has been involved in solar PV training and consulting. Jeff has hands-on project experience in designing and implementing solar projects for residential and commercial entities, both domestically as well as internationally. He plays a very active role in solar advocacy groups in San Antonio and Austin, Texas, while participating in monthly solar contract meetings in cities across the state. All of this is to stay current with the ever-changing and dynamic solar industry. Jeff has conducted training workshops at the University of Houston for over eight years now, training students in general as well as industry-specific skills related to solar. At GBRI, Jeff's passion for teaching and sustainability have come together, providing him the, the platform to promote sustainable practices to ensure a brighter and more sustainable future. So without further ado, I'd like to go ahead and pass it on to Jeff so we can begin today's course. So, moving on, what are some of the PV applications? Distributed residential. So these are these are these are small solar PV electrical systems that are used typically in residential applications. They're rare. It's good to know these numbers or these ranges. They usually range between five kilowatts, which produces about eight thousand plus kilowatt hours per year, from about twenty-five modules, about twenty-five modules, twenty to twenty-five. With the with the higher efficiencies now, these numbers are coming down. But yes. They are becoming more cost effective due to utility rebates, tax, incent tax incentives, and lower equipment costs. We shall see these numbers soon. And because of the small size distributed paradigm, it's still expensive due to fixed costs. It's when you scale them up that the fixed costs have a lower impact. So what are some of the benefits of solar? The National Solar Job Census as of 2013 is what it looks like right there. We are at 140,000 jobs for just so directly solar related jobs. So installation jobs, uh, commissioning jobs, designing jobs. Of course, jobs in uh, industries which complement solar are not even taken into consideration. And as you can see here, as far as the jo solar job consensus goes, 140,000 42,000 Americans are working in the solar industry now, up from 80,000 in 2010. So in a span of 30 years, we've almost doubled. And if that's a trend to go by, it's a, it's a beautiful picture for the future. Some of the standout buildings are the tallest building in the world, Burj Khalifa. It, in line with the times, the building installed solar technology back in 2010. The 378 solar collectors are used to heat 14,000 liters of water every day, and it saves approximately 3,200 kilowatts per day. Uh, those are some amazing numbers. So, you know clean energy is winning when the solar industry grew 10 times faster than the economy in 2013. This is an unknown fact, uh, not an unknown fact, but this is a fact that I don't hear enough. 
when the when the economy grew 2.3 percent or two percent uh solar industry grew 20 percent So I shall quickly make a pitch to you about the rest of the courses coming your way from us. That is solar for homeowners.